<laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. Let me get on my chair. The pattern I've been fishing with, the fish gets smaller every single time. We're looking at a 19 inch pike on the massive spoon that I have. Like, it's not right. Okay, so here's the situation. The pike is just on the ground there. Oh my God, what is all this? We're gonna see if he's uh, looking for a spoon of sorts. Bald eagle, I'm snagging on this tree. What the hell was that? Shocking, isn't it? There we go, set sail for round number two. There's no way to put it lightly. I look like a freaking fool, like an absolute fool. Like there's no part of me that looks any somewhat decent at all. I'm wearing a life jacket for extra warmth. Uh, where's the trail? That's not what you like to hear. Yeah, I'm on. That was strange. There we go. Well, there we have it. The first fish of round two. I guess this is a good time for me to uh, go over the game plan. So we're on our way to a spot where we will drag this canoe through the forest and end up in a smaller lake secluded from this one. So we're gonna go in there and see if we can catch some more pike in there. Why is it gotta be every time? Okay, a 26 incher. Another pretty nice looking fish. Should we walk it in like this type of bush? Not sure we're gonna see. Cause this isn't looking good. No, like I'm actually afraid. Like it doesn't look very uh, good. Anywho. So obviously this isn't gonna work. Do you say it's fine? We can't take the canoe through here. This is not good for me. Oh my God. I knew there was gonna be one there too. Uh oh, that's right over top of that tree. Like, he, I'm gonna get him this cast. I think he's on it there. There we go. There we go, finally. Finally latches on. Oh wow, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all wet now. If we lose a freaking fish because that dumb net camera. What's that? You bit me. Y Yikes. There it is. Frick, man. My dad may or may not have been bitten by this here pike. Might have sustained a little bit of an injury. I'm just taking a look at this forest I have in front of me and I, and I think to myself, there is no way we can pierce through this forest to enter the lake. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, where's the trail? There isn't one. It's like, what are we meant to do? You know what I mean? We can't go through here. There's no way, there's no way in. Like even without the canoe. <sighs> oh well. So that's that. Like it looks like it might rain once again. Like how stupid do I look right now? Like it's gotta be pretty like bad. How's your bite wound? Why are we angling forward here? Are we, are we planning to go through here? Yeah. What the hell? It's like we might have ran into a tree. It's looking better. Look at the freaking tree. It's a, it's a wall. What in the hell? A bit tricky, you don't say. Did you happen to bring a uh, bulldozer with, along with you today? What am I getting myself into? I do not know. All right, so this is the area we're going to go through. Who knows what that was? Where are we going now? I see. Yeah, this is unreasonable. Well, this is something. Oh boy, folks. Well. That was sick. That would have been interesting, huh? It's healed now. Perfect. All right, then. We're just gonna go grab the gear. Here's my hypothesis. This lake is probably not fished very much. Let's just, oh my lord. Let's just say 
this lake might have the fish we've been after all day. Now, if I can go through here without breaking one of three rods, that would be a win. Ow! Straight in the dome. Welcome to the adventure to uh, a lake I to call Cold J Lake. I named it myself. If it doesn't have any fish, I might change the name. Yeah, I figured. Oh, dear. So we're dealing with a little bit of a, uh, what we like to call a cook in the jacket situation. So it's not, it's not quite working there. Oh, looks like I broke a hook right off too on that one. Wow, that's a freaking tank of a knife. Wow, it smells horrible here, doesn't it? All right, welcome to a brand new lake. Yes. One of these ones. And... Looks like we're good. Did loons squawk when they found a fish? I hope so. Wow, me, I'm heavily skilled. Just so you know if there is a snake. Well, I'm, uh, I'm soaked now. Absolutely soaked. By the way, it's eight feet right there. Now I'm afraid. What do I do now? I mean, it's pure mud too. Like it's not, it's not just water either. That's not good. I need to empty my boot. It's like up to the brim. My entire leg is soaked and I have mud filled boots now. Where can I step? I don't know. You stepped here and you were fine, yeah? Uh oh, uh oh. Not looking good for Cole J here once again. Looks like I'll just run here. Ow, my ankle. It's all good. Let me just empty my boot. Yeah, I found a bit of land. I'm suctioned in. Holy cow. No, this isn't good at all. That's black, that water there. I need to sort myself out. <laughs> that sound. Frick, dude. Oh no, I got my feet wet. It doesn't matter. I've got nothing to lose, and I've got all to gain. Here we go, the way back to Softman Lake, from that lake that's not called Cold Bear Lake, by the way. The name has been changed. It's easier when I care, eh? I was just taking a minute to admire the scenery. I'm not tired or anything. <laughs> Can we get through down there? Not really. Steep. Yeah, it's steep's fine. fine. But you get too much of a slope and everything everything falls out. All right, if we lose my gear, I know who to blame. It's a bit steep. Oh, the boat. Yeah. I found myself in a pretty interesting situation. Yeah, we came out of the wall. We're back. Well, that was a fun thing we did. Look at that, eh? We went right through there and out there. Like if I had to pick one spot where I wouldn't want to go through, I'd pick, I'd pick that spot. Snagged, some things never change. You know, in order for me to not get like a soaker or anything like that, I need hip leaders, pretty much. Oh no, right in a tree. All right then. No, this isn't right. You know what I'm gonna do? I got a good idea. I'll cut that clip in. You know, knowing me, I'll probably leave the whole thing in. I'll probably even leave that part in. There's a freaking pike there. You see him? He's going off in the distance there against the shallows there. I could see it all of a sudden out of nowhere, like from right here, it went shung. There's a professional fisherman above me, I better leave. Oh my God, there's like beaver in training right here. We've entered a new little area here. It's just separated from the main lake by nothing but a few sticks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have some news to share. I'm making the executive decision to go with a little bit of a different approach. I'm gonna be using some top water. Let's see what we can do with this lure that is new. That's a sick rhyme. Uh, new plan. Okay, here's the lure I'm using. So it's just this like, this frog here. It's like, it's got a little, Spins just as such. Well, actually, here, I'll just. Do you want me to just place it? That'll work. An idea has hatched. Who knows if it's a good one? Odds are it isn't, but. That's gotta be horrible. Oh, they're taking off. Action shot, action shot. If I was a duck, I'd live here. Those underwater shots of the frog are not like horrible. I think some of them might be. Here's this awesome place again. Oh. Dead ahead. Good call, eh? <laughs> <laughs>
I hope one day it's not like detrimental and it's all my fault. Uh, actually, I don't know. Like it's possible it haven't. I use it all the time though. Well, that's not good. I use it all the time. Never caught a fish. Ooh, tree. Slow it down. There he is. <gasps> oh my gosh. Did you see that? Yeah. I scared the hell out of that fish. That's all my fault, eh? Damn it, dude. Okay, pump the brakes, put the anchor down. I'm catching this freaking bike. That just blew my like only chance. Leave it to me to sell myself out during a fishing expedition. Could have had a really nice topwater fish, but instead I suck at fishing. Fishing clear water, a pike comes up and looks at your lure. You don't stand tall and gasp. There he is. <gasps> what was I thinking? I as well just stick my rod underwater and hit the guy away from my bait. I'm ashamed. Well, at least we finished the day on a sighting. No, there's no way to make that sound good. A sighting. A sighting. For my final cast, I must be in tune with nature. And so for that to happen, I must be standing in the water. The final cast. Will I catch the 36 inch pike when I need it most? Or will I fold like an omelet? Okay, maybe make yourself look presentable. What does that mean? Do I not look good right now? The total length will be displayed just to the left of me, or I guess to the right of me. Whatever it is, it's probably outstanding. That's all I really have to say. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.